Hey everybody, how you doing? I'm doing pretty good. I just thought I'd do a real simple painting tonight. This is a 12 by 12. Uh, just a normal chain pull like I always do. Uh, but I haven't done a black and white for a long time, so I'm going to do that. That's how I actually started off with YouTube. I, I got a real nice black and white. And it just kind of... Yeah, it didn't go viral, but let's just say it got very popular. And he said, eh, I might as well start doing YouTube. <laughs> but yeah, my black and white flowers. Because I guess they're just very attractive to a lot of people love that black and white. So I'm going to do the background black and the white flower. And this is a 12 by 12. I'm using um, Artist Loft Black Flow. Just made some up. And I'm using white Artist Loft Flow. But my white is a little bit thicker than my black. Because I don't want cells, and who knows, I might get them anyway. So, we get started. That way, we can hopefully, because, yeah, I get cells sometimes, and when they get real thin, when both paint, the canvas base coat is the same consistency as the white, I'll get cells. But hopefully that's not going to happen. So I'm straining my bottle because this is an older bottle, you know, and sometimes they get little chunks in there. So that's quite a bit of paint. But the trick to tr string pulls or chain pulls is to definitely tilt off until it is not dripping anymore so that's what i'm gonna do and pause it while i'm doing that okay <laughs> so when i hold it up close you'll see like a little white specks you see that like a film that's just the flow trawl when this dries flow trawl always dries clear you're not going to see that's going to be a nice, beautiful black canvas. Just to let you know, some people don't know. They're wondering what that film is. It's the flow trough. Okay, so I went ahead and I got my white mixed up. Put my chain in there. That's a little bit thicker. I tilted this a whole bunch. And I am going to torch that too just to make sure we don't get no cells. I mean, I like the cells, but sometimes they can sell up so much they look skeleton-y, like just holy, holy. And then that's another reason why you want to tilt all that, get it real thin so that your white doesn't sink. And it, I, maybe I didn't tilt off enough either. Who knows? Now I have. So this is the chain I'm going to use, like always. <laughs> Ceiling fan chain. <laughs> it's not the thing too, is a lot of people have said, commenting. In my comments, and they've said, well, you just keep using the same old chain pull. Believe me, I've tried others. And this one always turns out pretty for me. So I, I keep doing what, you know, works for me. That's it. And uh, people seem to like them. I've sold many, many of these. So that's what I'm doing. Same ones. But I'm going to try to make this one a little thinner. Not so fat. I'm going to put one here in the middle. One here on one side, one here on the other, a small one. So I'm gonna take this out of here. I can't do it on the, here I'll, I can do it cause I'll splatter. I'll tilt this sideways if I can. There we go for now. And then I have my chain in there. Hopefully there's no knots. And, this is all dry black, so it's not a big deal. So I'm gonna take my fingers and not even squeeze it. I'm just gonna use, just kind of slide it through there. 
but I'm not squeezing. Okay, and I'm gonna wipe my fingertips off. And I'm just gonna kind of tap this on the table. Oh, jeez. Did it big anyway? I didn't want to. Hopefully that's sitting. I wanted to do it smaller, but that's okay. <laughs> yeah. All right. Then I'm gonna put that string like right between my fingers. Like I always tell people, it's like a cigarette. It's the only way I know how to say right between the fingers there. I'm not gonna lean my fingers against the canvas. I'm gonna lean them backwards, that way it don't puddle up right here. And it kind of keeps it straight. Uh, looks like it's gonna sell up. I'll be darned. You gotta be kidding me. Oh. Well. Sometimes if I go over the top again, well, it's just going to be a celled one. Some people like the celled ones. Oh, man. Well, I'm not real happy about that. But I have had people say they like them celled, so. <laughs> okay. And there's no silicone, it's just the flow trawl. Two parts flow trawl, one part paint and a little water. And like I said, my white is real thin or thick. So uh, maybe they were both close. I don't know. So I'm gonna do that again. It's just two small ones. <laughs> It's okay too because sometimes those little mishaps make pretty things. Okay. Am I in view? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> now watch that one not sell up. Better. Or I will do the center one over again. <laughs> It's starting to a little bit good. So it's not too bad, the middle one. It's not real, real holy. <laughs> at least it's got the white at the top. But now this one has to sell up to match it. And maybe it don't. <laughs> I don't know. I always want them to match, you know? Good because I'm yelling for some reason. Put this last chain in there and we'll be done. <laughs> and we'll see if I don't like it. I always could go over it. I'll 
that one's not too big. Oh no, that's good. It's a little shorter. <laughs> that's okay. Okay, I'm gonna put this I dry it off. Put it in water right away. There we go. So <laughs> Uh, man, so that one's selling up a little. So is this one. That's good. We'll wait it out just a minute, okay? And we'll see what happens because it does look like this one's selling up some. I don't know. I like the sales too much. Hopefully, this one does too. So we'll wait it out a minute, but it's very pretty. Okay, so yeah, it's been about a minute. I don't think these are going to grow too many cells, which is pretty good. At least they both have cells. This one is a little shorter, which is not a big, big deal to me. This one's got more of a curl here. Do you know when it dries, you can always take a paintbrush and kind of go just a little right there with white. And yeah, because I moved it, there's a little flare here, but that kind of gives it some character too, so it don't matter. I could fix that with a stick. Just dab it up and then put some black there, but I'll leave that alone too. Oh, I might fix that tip. Yeah, I think I will. Come to think of it. Just push it in. Drag it in like that. There. You can take a little black underneath there somewhere. Touch it there, better replace it. There you go. That's a little bit. I'm being too picky about that. Okay, so I'll leave that alone. So, those of you who like the sailed up ones, there you go. <laughs> and I thought I tilted it off real good. You can see it kind of sunk just a little. I'm glad the tips are not all sailed up though. That's a cute one on the top. That one's got a little flare. So that's it. <laughs> All right, thanks for watching, guys. Tell me what you think about the celled up ones, whether you like them solid white or celled. <laughs> it's pretty. Got lots of cute little webbing in there, but I actually like them straight, plain white just because it's more. It's like stands out, but they do stand out, of course, because they're against black. But anyway, <laughs> yeah, these these are my traditional strip chain poles. <laughs> Everybody knows me for these. All right, guys, have a good one. Oh, thanks for watching and like, share, and subscribe if you'd like to. That'd be awesome. I uh, hope you're all doing good. Uh, take care now. I'll catch you later. Bye bye.